Hey guys, what is going on? Talking about how to raise your might in Tai Chi Panda Heroes today. So obviously the only ways to increase might are through making your heroes stronger, but I'm not just going to tell you to do this or that. I'll include a mini guide for all of the five things you should do to raise your might. So first let's take a look at tearing up. Depending on the hero you're tearing up, uh, how to get their hero shards can vary greatly. Some you can get through certain events, some you can get through farming them on the quest map. All you have to do is click your hero, click tear up, and click that little plus button and you can see all the ways you can get them. Also rare bosses drop varying hero shards as well, so keep that in mind. And try and go for rare bosses whenever possible. Every time you tear up a hero, of course the higher tier you make it, the more might you will get and the stronger your hero will become. But also as a bonus, its rare skill will become stronger as well, or it will allow you to upgrade its rare skill, furthering the effectiveness of said hero. And there's one other bonus to tearing up your heroes as well, which is the synergy bonus. Every hero requires other heroes to be a certain tier. Depending on the hero you're looking at, they will need different heroes. And you can always check that by going to the synergy bonus. Some just require a certain attack power or other attribute like that. So let's move on to runes, starting with where to get them. There are a lot of places to get runes, so I can't really go over them all because I'm sure I'll miss one or the other, but the main places you can get daily runes are from the stores, such as the Team Instant Store, the Arena Store, the PvP Store, etc and also from doing daily quests and other daily events. So just try and be active, check out the stores on a daily basis, use your extra tokens after you buy everything else you want on the runes, and another thing you should do every day is combining runes, since if you are collecting them right you will have a lot. I recommend doing this at least once a day, maybe twice, is taking off all the runes of all your heroes and combining them as much as you can. This ensures that you're making your runes as strong as possible, and then of course putting them all back on, preferably starting with your strongest heroes. Next we come to Fortify. Now this one is rather obvious, but one thing to take special note of is the level milestones. As you can see here, when your gear gets to a certain level you get an extra bonus and this is what you should really be focusing on. Fortifying takes a lot of gold, especially when you get up to the higher levels. I've made a video dedicated to gold farming if you want to check that out. I'm going to leave that in the description as well as an annotation up there at the top right. But yeah, take note of the level milestones and try and focus on those level milestones. Like if you're having a problem with gold ever, you should rather focus on getting one hero's, preferably your main hero's set of gear to the next milestone rather than trying to get all of them to the max all the time, you know what I'm saying? So if you're like level 50, then there's the max of 100. Try and get to the next milestone of your main hero before trying to focus on getting everyone's fortify to 100, if you know what I'm saying. So then we come to refine, very similar to fortify, except you need refined stones. Refined stones are pretty hard to get in this game, I would say. I'd say probably one of the most places you're going to get rare refined stones is from the market. You can smelt the gear you don't want anymore and then you'll get crystals for that and you can check in the market. They are kind of expensive refined stones, but yeah, I think that'll be the main way you're going to get them. Also from daily rewards, also when you've done all your daily quests, you'll get some. You get some from a lot of random places, so just like I said, be active. Uh, do your stuff. Also, when you are getting a lot of stars on the quest map, you'll get some from the treasure boxes there. But yeah, market is like basically one of the only controlled places you can like force refined stones. You can also get a lot from doing treasure hunt. I've once gotten 200 refined stones from a, a single card flip of treasure hunt, so that's also another way if you have some extra fortitude. And then of course we have the higher quality gear, which kind of comes along with refined stones because you want to be refining and also fortifying the best gear you can, which is quality 30 gear. The type of quality 30 gear depends on your play style. There's legend gear, Ares gear for physical, uh, there's, I think there's like three different types of quality 30 for physical and three different types of quality 30 for magic. And there are a couple of ways to get those. The fastest way of course is through opening epic chests. Those cost quite a lot of diamonds though. But I usually, I've done it like three times and I think I got at least one, sometimes two quality 30 gears. Then there's also treasure instances, this second one, elite, where you can sometimes get quality 30 shards, and of course the market. So first of all you want to decide what type of gear you want. 
Uh, personally, on my Bork, I'm going for Legend Gear because that's more based towards offense, and I and I like offense, you know, critical and damage boost and stuff like that. So I like the offense. So that's what I'm going with on Boric. And you can actually tell here because it says this red button here indicates that it's for a physical attacker like Boric, and this here means it's suited to offense. There's also defensive gear and balanced gear, depending on the icon. So the last thing here comes down to a decision. So you have to make a decision while you're playing, and of course you can always change your mind. At the moment, reforging all of your gear and getting all the refined stones back and stuff doesn't cost anything, which is incredible. I'm not sure if they'll change that in the future, but right now you can reforge every one of your hero's gear and put the refined levels on whatever you want to, so that is really cool. But anyway, to get onto the point, the last thing is about making a decision. Do you want to have all five of your heroes equally powerful, or do you want your main hero to be really strong and your other four to be weaker? If you focus on them all equally, your might will be higher. I've noticed this because that's kind of what I was doing before. I was still focusing mostly on Boric, but I was also trying to get at least all theirs to a decent refine level. And then what I did about a week ago is I reforged all their gear and put almost everything on Boric. Totally focused on him. My might went down like 10k, but I think it's for the better because, you know, your main hero is the most important by far. There are many things where only your main hero really matters and his strength. And another thing is, no matter what mode you're in, if your main hero dies, you're dead. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But if you do choose to focus on them all equally, all five of the heroes you're using, then your might will be higher. But in my personal opinion and my personal preference, I think you won't be as strong if you're gonna focus on them all equally. I recommend focusing on one hero, on your main hero, and putting basically the most of your stuff into him. So I know there are are some things I missed in this video. I will make an updated video because I'm sure they'll be having a lot of updates in the future uh, with different things that can raise your might because it's still early stages and there actually aren't that many ways to raise your might. But yeah, everything has to do with raising your individual heroes. But there are a couple of things that I did want to mention that I just now uh, remembered. Firstly, heroes. Even the ones you're not using, you should always try and tear them up because this works well with synergy. Even the heroes you're not using, when you tear them up, the main hero will get this bonus. So always try and raise all the heroes you can and their tier level, regardless if you use them or not. And something about runes I forgot to mention is the auction house. You can get a lot of core runes here to eventually make more core runes. The only bad side about this is they cost... Uh, non-bound diamonds and you cannot use bound diamonds for them so if you're not topping up you won't really be able to take part in this unless you are selling your own runes and people are buying them that's basically the only way because you do get non-bound diamonds for selling but you have to use uh, non-bound diamonds for buying as well so check out the auction house if you need some core runes but yeah i guess that will about wrap it up for this video if you have any thoughts i'm sure you do i'm sure i missed uh, at, at least a couple of things but i think i covered the most important i think i covered the basics because i don't want to go too into detail because i think that will overwhelm a lot of people so i'm trying to keep it as basic as i can while still getting the point across but maybe there are some important things that i missed and if so make sure to drop them in the comments below but yeah i guess that will do it for today if you did enjoy make sure to drop a like down below and get subscribed for future content like this thanks so much for watching and until next time